Hi, I'm Kathy Beth Terry, and this is my bedroom. Um, I'm currently living with my parents. I'm 13. And I'm just sitting here, an innocent victim, doing Sudoku puzzle after dinner. And there's some music that's too loud going on across the street, obviously. And everybody knows who house that is. Miss Cool for School, Rebecca Black. Never been to one of her parties, always wanted to go. But I'm stuck here doing this Sudoku, so we'll see. <laughs> Of, uh, last Friday night. I hate these clogs. My mom got them from Maui. They always stuck. Kathy Terry, she's a nightmare. Um, she is a bit of a loner and she has a lot of <laughs> dental problems. And um, she just wants peace and quiet, but then she gets thrown into this crazy Friday night that she'll never forget. We have some great people in this video. Besides myself, there's Rebecca Black, who's amazing. If you don't know, then you just don't know. Hi guys, it's Rebecca Black, and I'm here on the set of Katy Perry's music video last Friday night, and right now they're setting up a really cool shot behind me, and I'm really excited. Rebecca and I both love Fridays, so that's why I asked her to be in this music video because Friday is like my favorite day of the week and it's her favorite day of the week. We used to be friends in third grade and then something happened. I don't know what happened, but this happened. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not a C cup. <laughs> Rebecca Black, my neighbor next door, is having a rager and I tell her, please, can you turn it down? That music is too loud. And I knock the door and she looks at me like a project. And basically, she makes me over, which is awesome, and we just have the best rager anyone's ever had. What really happened was Katie came to my house for a party and she wanted to see what was going on. So I let her in and she was not prepared. And it was really cool. So I took her upstairs and I totally made her over and she looks beautiful now. And then there's Kevin and Darren Chris from Glee. I get to play the big old nerd to her big old nerd. It's really dope because we all get to dress up in these heinous 80s clothes. Heinous to some but amazing to others like us. So um, Darren, who you may know, was wearing jeans up to here and they were really tight. I was a crazy party reveler, and the day after, poor Katie wakes up with just absolute chaos in her house, and I wake her up with me basically telling her how awesome the party was. Yo, what's going on? Aaron Christopherson here, how you doing? I just came from the craziest party of my life, man. Who knew that Kathy Terry was the coolest chick in the world? I thought it was all about Rebecca Black. Hey. So, um, it's this raging house party, rage or whatever, but I'm just here to see, um, Kathy. Everybody, I think, looks the best they've ever looked, ever, including Katie, when she's in her braces. I think she looks great. Katie looks like a million bucks. She's got the headgear and the uh, and the braces, not unlike what I look like in high school. I didn't throw any crazy house parties, nor was I as hot as Katy Perry. But uh, yeah, she's looking really nerdy. She's a nerdy girl, and she gets into a, a, a frenzy because she doesn't know what to do with all these crazy people who are in her house and destroying everything. <laughs> Keep going. What the hell? What the hell? What is this? Who's in the bed next to me? Donald, he's 
in seventh grade. No. But sometimes when I walk into the halls, he's totally looking me up and down. I'm like, get off of me. Like some people look at bone structure. I look at wire structure of your braces. She looks great. And I think a lot of people don't recognize how really beautiful she is. Mm -hmm. I go for Steve Johnson. Steve Johnson is in ninth grade. We're the jocks. We got, I gotta tell you straight up. I mean, I don't know about you. I mean, we have good standards. You know, we go for we go for dime pieces. Obviously. He's a super hunk, and he started he started getting really big, and I think everybody's noticing at school, and he's like getting with all the girls. I think that the girls are more developed though than me because I've yet to start. I gotta tell you, uh, I saw a nerd today, and uh, I'm pretty turned on. She's kind of the love of my life, but she likes guys with muscles. And I tried doing a set of once, but it hurt. Look at this. Look at all this. Sword fighting, something I should probably never do. But only in a video. Or Katy Perry. Yeah. You know, we got a little background of some sword fighting tonight. We learned quick. And before you knew it, you know, we were like pros by the end of it. Uh, I try to save the day by being, by being the man, but she falls in love for the nerd. But, you know, I got to take a hit sometime, right? Day one, zone. I fought for Katie's love. I just got hood. <laughs> the medieval gangster. Yeah. So that's the end of day one. And we ended it with a grand finale of the Dungeons and Dragons love scene with my lovers fighting for my love. And tomorrow we're gonna party with Kenny G, Debbie Gibson, Corey Feldman, and Hanson. Day two, where I become hot, but in a kind of like soft 80s, early 90s way. Kathy Ben Terry, what happened to your room? My mom and dad, um, my mom is Debbie Gibson, and my dad is Corey Fieldman. I'm Tiffany Terry. And I'm Kirk Terry. We are Kathy Beth's parents, of course. Good parents. Very solid parents. Yes. She's they have a, she's principles. A, she's a wonderful daughter. She's very conservative. She's a straight-A student. She always does her work. And I was just utterly shocked to come home and find out that she had friends over. She is a bit of a daddy's girl, isn't she? She is a bit of a daddy's girl. She is. I mean, she's my little goonie, though. What can I say? Hey, I'm Debbie Gibson, and I am playing Kate's mom. What? I mean, you know, who is that hot, I mean, naked young man? Hey. Any way. Hey. We come home to find the house in complete disarray. We are these anal retentive parents, and, and we don't think that our little girl has to go to such extremes to prove that she's cool. We love her just the way she is. Young lady, what are you doing with a man in your bed? Yeah. I got Where's Corey? He's been in hair longer than me, for God's sakes. It's always the boys. They're so precious. Pretty. Hi, everyone. I'm Corey Feldman, here with you live, reporting from the Katy Perry new video where we're filming here at this house. It's lovely. I play Katie's dad in the video, uh, which is very exciting and a very um, challenging toll as an actor because number one, I'm not old enough to be her dad. So I had to wear a little wig, gray hair and all that good stuff. For the first round of rehearsals, did you have them do any 80s 
circumstances, like Roger I literally Rabbit had the worm or Cabbage Rabbit Patch, Rabbit. Roger Rabbit, oh, Running okay. Man. for the rager because there always has to be a house band that everybody loves. It's handsome. I mean, Kathy, she she seemed to be kind of the life of the party. I, don't, I mean, yeah. yeah. Dude, I mean, life of the party, <laughs> I mean, she, she's the life of my party. I must say, you know, I think this video might go down in the record books for the most money spent on streamers and toilet paper. Yes. Kenny G is playing a sax and then crowd surfing, jumping off of a rooftop and crowd surfing into a bunch of people, strangers, hands. Awesome. I'm Uncle Kenny in the video. She's Kathy. She's my little niece. And she's having a big party. And um, Hanson is the band that's playing uh, by the pool. And I'm playing the sax solo in the middle of this, uh, this thing, so. G. The original G. The sax solo is, um, it's a little electronic. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate it for the video, but I told Katie next time, just call me right from the beginning and let me put the sax solo in myself. <laughs> <laughs> My mind is still bleeding with, with fun times. I can't even comprehend what's happened to me. I met Kenny G. That's a bucket list check off. It's awesome. I'm really happy and stoked that everybody could come out and contribute to this music video um, and that I could look this ridiculous in this perm.